This presentation focuses on collaboration in a learning community partnership between Cork Prison and University College Cork. Cork Prison is a closed medium security prison for adult males in Ireland, promoting justice through the scholarship of teaching and learning in prison arts education, draws upon a co-created curriculum by university and prison educators to promote an ethos of conviviality through creativity, whereby the educators and students listen to each other and learn together in an atmosphere where students are encouraged to develop their own creativity in the style of the Project Zero Classroom, where teachers also become learners who model intellectual curiosity. As a consequence of the coronavirus pandemic, we have all an appreciation of the psychological effects of what it means to be confined. By the end of March 2020, more than a fifth of the world's population was in various degrees of lockdown in order to slow down the spread of coronavirus. Although governments introducing lockdown policies do not intend to punish their citizens, as courts do when sending convicted offenders to prison, such policies can have unintended adverse consequences, especially in relation to mental well-being. What do we mean by justice in the context of this project? And how can the scholarship of teaching and learning help to promote justice within education, the embodied experience of prison life? The learning partnership has two objectives. Firstly, to foster critical thinking strategies influenced by UCC's application of the Project Zero Classroom as derived from Harvard Graduate School of Education. And secondly, to support student voices by promoting conversations on creativity resulting in the production of artworks exhibited during summertime on Spike Island in Cork Harbour. Communicating prison as community in society. Justice is promoted through the scholarship of teaching and learning by reminding the wider community that prison and society are interconnected and that if we want a safer, more secure and humane society, then education has a positive role to play. The scholarship of teaching and learning promotes justice through scaffolding the process of art making by creating a space for the freedom of expression of incarcerated students. The ultimate punishment of incarceration is the removal of personal liberty. In prison, most of the everyday decisions are taken away from the incarcerated student. Art allows this student to make thousands of small and larger decisions in the course of art making, the consequences of which are played out in the painting, drawing or sculptural piece itself. Art making therefore takes on a particular resonance in a prison context, as art is a form of freedom of expression, as the artist has freedoms not afforded other citizens, freedoms from censorship or from those small everyday moralities. In addition, incarcerated students Working within the studio learns skills of active listening and negotiating, as well as the technical skills of art and craft making. Our slow looking rubric, designed as a guided learning scaffold, features three dimensions. The first is inquiry, posing open ended questions without either right or wrong answers. Secondly, access, appealing to a wide range of learners. 
And thirdly, reflection. Learning about the messy process of learning itself. The learning scaffold helps to unlock a student's latent creativity and freedom of expression. Making thinking visible. This is a student response to a painting by Paul Henry entitled A Connemara Village. This is a reflection on creativity as an expression of freedom. Note the index finger melting the liquid prison window bars that acts as a metaphor expressing the transformative capacity of creativity as a form of resilience. This is visually communicated by the incarcerated student by means of a landscape collage assembled to evoke the student's memories of a secure childhood beyond a threatened urban environment. The mathematical symbols evoke his childhood memories of success at school. Making thinking visible. This is a student response to a stained glass artwork by Harry Clark entitled The Eve of St. Agnes. Using windows as metaphors to express tensions between imagination, the stained glass, and incarceration, the prison window with razor wire. This student reflects on building personal resilience by fostering effective communication strategies. The lesson for this student is that communication diffuses and erases tensions in prison. The student has written this text. Tensions are high, communications are low. Hearth and home. This student's response to locality evokes a childhood memory of social housing in the north side of Cork City, in which a house became a home. The sculptural piece resembles the modernist architecture of the National Building Agency that was built in Cork during the 1970s as a mode of social housing. Despite poverty, this social space evoked for the student memories of community and solidarity during a conversation on the way in which space helps to evoke memory. Teachers at the educational unit in Cork Prison stress the importance of the learning partnership for both individual and community reasons. Firstly, the partnership encourages students to reflect and critically assess their own learning, a skill new to many. Secondly, the partnership breaks down mental barriers that many inmate students might have about being able to access further and higher education. In an Irish context, research tells us that 60% of males with a father in prison will end up in prison themselves. Imprisonment is intertwined with social disadvantage, family dysfunction and negative educational experiences. If any of the participants of this program tell their child that they have attended a course delivered by University College Cork within a prison context, it has the potential to create in this child the aspiration that she or he may one day attend university or higher education. Even if we are of the opinion that prison should be pure punishment and as unpleasant as possible, 
pragmatism alone would suggest that you align yourself with the educationists. Education has been restricted during the coronavirus pandemic. The lack of internet access, mobile phones and tablets, coupled with the diversity of the student body, particularly in terms of their levels of ability, learning styles and interests, are significant challenges to overcome. However, given the fact that the biggest impact of the coronavirus restrictions for the incarcerated was the lack of family visits, as well as significantly reduced access to the wider environment outside of cell time, the initial response has focused on communication and reassurance as educators within a prison context attempted to stave off students' fear, anxiety and boredom. Students within Irish prisons have been sent activity packs developed by the teachers themselves and this is also a dimension that our partnership between University College Cork and the Irish Prison Service can continue to develop and collaborate in the work of Project Zero and the application of the Scholarship of Teaching and Learning, which makes learning visible. Importantly, teachers developed specific booklets and activities to help prisoners cope with the unprecedented circumstances of the pandemic. Prisoners are confident that they are protected against coronavirus but the lack of in-person visits has been very difficult for families, particularly children. The coronavirus has exposed all the issues across the penal system, including running over capacity and the lack of access to technology. The most salient lesson to emerge from the coronavirus pandemic within a prison context is not just the prompt and professional and proactive response of the teaching staff, but rather it is also the recognition that the facilitation of education in prison is so much more than just facilitation of education. It is about engagement and connection, building positive relationships that enriches prisoners' lives and promotes personal transformation. This is why the feedback from learners in an incarcerated context is so important and that the missed education and the missed opportunities afforded by wider educational partnerships and collaborations is also a missed sense of purpose and promise of a better future that education itself brings.